Good morning guys, it's Saving Money with Jazzy. So I'm just dropping the kids off so we can do our morning chit chat on the way to work. So it's quite dark still over here. Hopefully we can slide it up, you know, so you guys can see me. Um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit um, about, you know, I feel like you guys are like my therapist. I can come and talk about anything on here and and feel like, you know, it could possibly help someone and then it's it helps me as well you know get it get it off my chest and like express how I feel um, and be done with it so I've been you know I, lo I love talking if you haven't noticed um, so I want to talk about a little something personal like relationship um, so me and my husband we went through it you know we have our own testimony and relationship experience you know we've gone through everything I think as far as jealousy baggage insecurities um trust is it lust or is it love um those kind of things communication problems like a lot of i guess everything that you could possibly go through through a relationship so i just want to talk you know touch base on something today you know i felt like talking about my experience with having baggage and bringing it into the new relationship right baggage and then they go it can fall into insecurity because it does so I feel like, you know, I've always thought, I was like, I always had, I always carry baggage around guys. It could be, you know, my experience with my son's um, father, you know, how that didn't turn out well. And then just thinking, oh, men are like that, you know, just have babies and take off and don't take care of them, you know, for a long time. So I was single for a long time, you know, Isaac, I had Isaac, so it was just me and Isaac. So I didn't really date, I, you know, I talk to people here and there but I was never like dating dating moved in with anybody or nothing like that like we are now serious so I felt like I did bring baggage into the relationship you know I can own up to that you know before I wouldn't because it's like a weak it's something that will make you you know have a weakness because you're like bringing baggage and, and all I would do is accuse him and, and, and jealousy would kick in and I'm just like all men are the same and you're doing this and doing that and I'm like I need to catch him before he can put one up on me you know what I mean I was like that and I was just like I need to stop doing that um but yeah I was like that for a long time like the baggage I would bring was probably like you know my previous relationships you know they would cheat on me so I would bring I brought that with me so I would accuse him get jealous flip out always say you know thinking he was cheating on me and I was like you're not gonna you know you're not gonna make me look stupid you know and and really he wasn't doing anything and he was always telling me why are you um putting past relationships and you're basically you know attacking me and, and I haven't gave you no reason I haven't done anything and you know what he really didn't and it was just something that was in me like I was something I had to work on myself to get rid of so I can stop thinking that way you know and enjoy my relationship you know he generally wanted to be there for us and be Isaac's dad figure and love me and I was just like fighting the whole way through because I'm not used to that I'm used to dudes that just want one thing coming in and out you know guys they don't give it about you and you know that kind of experience I never experienced someone that actually genuinely wants to be with me and love me and you know make a family with each other and do that kind of stuff because in the beginning I didn't think that I was like no and to tell you the truth I did have doubts I did have like is this the right move because I have so much baggage like it's gonna make me go nuts and not be ever happy because you know I'm gonna always constantly be my mind's gonna be like oh he's doing something blah 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 you know what I mean and then you and then the insecurity kicks in you know what I mean the insecurity is probably like you know like the baggage like I have a child you know is he gonna is it too much for him it's like is is it me putting too much responsibility on him you know it's to you know pressure him to be Isaac's dad you know I thought about all those things so I got really insecure I was like you know what I'm meant to be by myself because I I'm a single mom you know what I mean and no and no one's gonna love my son like I do you know and I thought about those things and I was like so it was really rough in the beginning and I think it was really rough for my husband because I put him through it like I really did and, you know and I and I beginning it was like testing him like because I had to like I had too much you know riding on this it was my son my family because I did introduce him to my family it was me you know and I haven't dated for a long time and really when I dated I really didn't date properly like I didn't know how to date because it was like little relationships here and there that last like one or two months and then I get sick of them and leave them you know and this one was actually long this is probably the longest I've been with someone you know I never lived with anybody 
never got married, so like this is all like brand new to me. And I told myself, I want more children, and when I meet that person, um, I want to have children with them. If they're gonna, it's gonna be like a permanent thing, a permanent relationship, because I didn't want to go through what I did with Isaac and his dad again. So that baggage came with me, the insecurity of like him leaving me if I have a baby, you know, that, that stuff, like, it kicked in, like, when I was pregnant, and I would tell him, and he's like, what are you talking about, like, you know, and, and I love Ryan for that, because he never gave up on me, and he always, like, said, oh, you're just crazy, you need to calm down, like, I've never made you think that way, and I'm just like, well, he's right, but I'm still crazy, like, I am, because I'm a female, I'm very emotional, I'm crazy, I'm jealous, like, I think that's just me, plus I'm Latina, so I'm like, attitude fire so yeah and I'm Aries so I tell him all the time like my baggage coming into this relationship like I never could admit to it and I could never tell him look let's sit down and communicate and talk and be like look Ryan I have this baggage this is why I'm acting this way in this way this is why I blow up like this and this this is why I'm accusing you like I'm crazy like this because of this there's always a reason to my madness and I never did that you know it took me forever to ever like sit down and talk to him because I was like used to be independent being by myself I wasn't used to having to like get another person's opinion or worry about another person's feelings it was just me and Isaac if Isaac's good then it's all good and so that was a big adjustment for me and I think it was for him as well so we did go through it and I think that the baggage it wasn't baggage but it was like things that I need to let go things I had that I knew that were going to be an issue in this relationship because I can just catch myself I'm like I'm going I'm doing too much and I don't know I was just like I need to stop like I didn't even know how to act like I was like over the top too much and I was like basically acting like he was cheating like that's how crazy I would get and he wasn't doing anything so now I can look back at it and be like dang I was doing too much like I should have just sat and talked to him you know because my thing is like I have to see I have to like feel that you know secure with you and I wouldn't flip out you know and that and I think that's just how I am like with any relationship friendships anything I have to feel secure like where I feel safe where I feel like you got my back where I feel like there no matter what you ain't going anywhere you know what I mean and I think that does fall into like I believe like child childhood experiences do stick with you right so it's not necessarily not necessarily what you do I think it's what you experience so like as far as parenting like your mom and dad like if say for example they get divorced there's a lot of things that you know I've or a lot of people I've met that come from broken homes that they become a broken home and I wonder if it's just something that they like you like inherit without knowing you know what I mean because you experienced it you get it just sticks with you and then it happen you happen to do the same repeat action like it's crazy you know what I mean and I feel like some of that you know what I went through you know some of that did carry with me so I'm very like strong-headed like I'm like no you're not gonna do me like what I seen you know what I mean you're not gonna do this you're not gonna do that ain't gonna happen I'm not gonna be that person you know and like half the time I would refer it to like my parents you know like their relationship and what we saw as far as we saw you know I'm sure there's things that we didn't ever we didn't see the whole thing but we did experience a couple of things, you know, that made me, that stuck with me, and you know, and it's still with me. And I can say that was part of my baggage I brought with me was my insecurity to be not that person. You know how you be like, I ain't going to be like that girl. I ain't going to be like her. And you know what? You, you end up being like that girl. I'm not kidding. Like, you can say all you want. It's just life. It's just normal relationship problems. You're not going to be perfect. You're not going to meet them. And maybe you will, you know. Maybe you did meet the right person There was, and it was good off the bat, you know. But some people usually don't. You have to you have to grow your relationship with each other. You have to go through the crap to make it look good, you know what I mean? Like, we had to go through a lot of crap. Like, we had to go through a lot to where now I can say, you know, we know each other's limits. We know each other's buttons. We know what we want we know what we're going towards you know like it's and then sometimes you're just like you gotta choose your battles and I wouldn't I wanted to win every battle I wanted to start them I wanted to finish them like I was rough and that's just because of me I'm the oldest of six kids like I've always had to like be that person like care like that had to take care you know what I mean like 
everything. So like coming into the relationship, I had that mindset. So for me to like release that and like, let me let him handle it, you know, let him be the lead, let him be my other half. Like it was so hard for me to do that. You know, and, and then the controlling kicked in because it was like, I'm trying to control the situation, trying to control the household, trying to control the bills. And I'm just like, it, it's a hard adjustment, guys. Like you go from being by yourself, independent, taking care of your own bills, taking care of your own stuff, and to have it jump into a home and you have to be like, oh, now I have to share the responsibility. And my thing is like, if I don't see it happening or getting done, I jump in and take over. So then it becomes controlling because it's like, I'm doing everything and... I don't want him to do nothing you know what I mean and that's the hard part because it's like I have to break that habit I have to be able to allow him to do his part you know what I mean and it's hard for me because I tell him all the time I'm like I'm sorry like after I do it and I act up I realize like okay I should not have done that there's other ways of doing things talk about it now you don't have to yell about it you don't have to get pissed about it you know and that's the thing I'm st I'm still learning that and I think that's with every situation like people in the street anything happens uh, family members my husband like it just happens like you you have to have self-control and I don't have that at the moment I am working on it because it does ain't gonna happen overnight guys it ain't so and then my husband had his own baggage right so it's not just technically that was it just me it was both of us we came we came baggaged up ready to go to Hawaii type of thing for three months that's how much baggage we came with in the relationship and you know some people would say well, dang, you guys already knew you guys had that baggage, you know. Why would you even continue the relationship knowing that it was going to cause issues down the line? I know. I know. But when you're in it, and it's true what people say. When you're in it, you do not see what's going on. You don't see the big picture. You just see what you want to see because you're in love. So the flags will fly up and you don't even pay attention to them because you're in love with that person. And you, you miss the flags on purpose. I'm serious. Because I think, like, if I would have took all my flags and, like, paid attention, I probably wouldn't be with him right now, guys, to be honest. But I love him, and I feel like it's something, like, all females have, like, especially mothers or, like, older siblings. Like, you know, women in general, like, we want to fix someone. We want to cater to someone. We want to make someone feel loved. We want, it's just in us, right? We're just like that. So yeah, I did feel that way. I felt like I had to like take care of him. You know, he had just got out of prison after 10 years. So I felt like he was like a little baby. He didn't know anything. He's been a while, you know, he had to adjust in society. He had to be, you know what I mean? He had to start over again. And I felt like I had to be there to help him out with that. And I felt like some things that let slide and be like, oh, it's because of this, made excuses. You know, and I can look back at that and be like, maybe that, maybe that was my mistake making excuses for him you know instead of you know rectifying the situation when it was happening and maybe fixing it then instead of waiting till later and be like dang I, and I can't bring it up now for what I basically just let it happen because I didn't check it when it happened you know you guys like always when you guys are feeling some type of way always and that's how I am like I, I don't know why I didn't do it with him but that's how I am like when I have a situation or a problem with someone I like to talk about it i want to address it then and there i don't like it to linger for months and then it dies out but then you still have those harsh feelings with each other i hate that so i'm just i'm very talkative like i like if i have a problem or i sense there's a problem i'll be like what's going on you know what's the issue let's talk about it and he and he's not like that he's more like keep it quiet keep it in don't want to argue so he won't bring up any situations and i'm not like that i'll be like so or i'll like for example I would like, he's not very romantic, right? And that's one thing that we have to challenge with. That's one of his baggages that he's not like that. Um, he's not very romantic. And me, I'm a female. Like, I want to get, Pam, I want to get, like, loved. Like, I'm not saying buy me flowers every day. I'm not saying open the door all the time. But once in a while, it is nice, you know? That makes you feel like, okay, hey, he's paying attention to me. He's showing me love and stuff. But when it doesn't happen at all, you start to think. You start to get insecure. Am I not good enough for him? Am I not what he wants? Like, am I not good enough for him to treat me that way? Like, am I not... Like, you start thinking crazy, you know? And it, it put me in a depression for a little bit to where it made me, like, a bitter person. And it was for everybody. I was like that towards everyone. Even my mom told me, she goes, ever since you met him, you've changed, you know? You act differently. You're more raw, you know what I mean? And I'm like, no, 
you know, I don't, I don't see, I don't agree with that. But I did, guys. I did change a lot because I'm usually like upbeat, funny. I'm like outgoing, I'm loud. And with him, it was like quiet, like unhappy. You can tell. You can tell when we're arguing. Like it didn't matter where it was. Like everybody can notice, and it made everybody uncomfortable. And I hate that. I hate doing that to people. So I just said, you know what? Like, what can we do? To, you know, because I don't want to give up. I don't want to just leave it like that and just walk away and be like, okay, I don't, I, I'm done with it. I'm not even going to try to even let him know how I feel. So for what? You know, because I did think like that for a, while, for a couple of times. You know, I was depressed. I was like really sad. And I was like, you know, and then that's where all the jealousy came in as well. That came right back because I'm like, well, if he's not paying attention to me, then who is he paying attention to? So then I started looking into him, watching him like, why are you staring at women? Is that, are they more prettier than I am? And, you know, and I had to learn the hard way because even my dad does that, you know. So my mom goes, it's just a guy thing. They just stare. But I totally disagree with that. I'm like, if you love someone and that person is all for you, you wouldn't have a reason to stare. Like, I don't go stare at guys. I don't go do those things and, and say, oh, it's a women thing. Like, no, I don't think... I don't think I'm going to be ever okay with that and ever go and be like, oh, it's okay. You're a guy. So that's what you do. No, I don't think I'll ever be that way. You know, and he knows that. And I've told him many times. We've fought over it a lot of times. Like, I'm like, and then you do it in front of me. So I'm like, is it a, is it something you don't even realize you're doing? It's just like a habit or like, what is it? Like, I don't understand it. And he, can just, he just tells me, no, I wasn't. And that makes it worse when they tell you no and you just watched him do it. This is me off, girl. So I say whatever you want to keep denying you know instead of them just saying yeah I did you know I did look you know I think it would be less because now you're okay but when you say no you did it and I just watched you that pisses me off even more because you're lying in my face now so that was a lot of issues like that was something I had to deal with as well like and I feel like I just settled for it and I hate that fucking feeling like you're settling for something like you're settling for this type of relationship and a lot of times I always thought like maybe I should just leave him you know we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not a match you know there's so many issues so many disagreements so many things that we didn't agree on so many things we're so different in and to be honest like I would just think about that I'm like maybe we'll just be done like I don't want to deal with it I'd rather be by myself like I was with Isaac and I have to answer to nobody have to worry about nobody cheating and just live my life you know what I mean I I thought about that a lot and I was like, no, you know, and I would never do that. And I finally just said, you know what, I need to talk to him. And at that time, we were, you know, I didn't pray. I didn't do anything, any of that stuff. And I, I prayed to God one day. And I said, look, God, if he's supposed to be with me, you know, then let me know. You know, give me a sign. If he's not supposed to be with me, then separate us. You know, make it to where we're not together. Like, I don't, because I know I don't have the strength to do it. And I feel like a lot of women are like that. You get stuck. You get, I felt like, not stuck, but I felt like, yes, I felt stuck, to be honest. I felt like, okay, well, now he's, like, really close to Isaac. He's really close to my family, my dad and them. They have a really good relationship. I won't find another guy like that. You know, my dad never liked none of my boyfriends. So I'm like, oh, do I want to ruin that because of how I feel? You know, do I want to take another dad from Isaac? Do I want to start over with somebody else because I told myself I said I, Ryan does not work out I'm going to be single for the rest of my life I'm not going to do this again and put my kids to this again so I was like what do I want and I do I really want that or am I going off of anger because I'm pissed or am I going off of what I'm not getting because I always was by myself so I got what I wanted when I wanted how I wanted so like when he you're with someone else in a relationship it doesn't work that way you know what I mean that person might not want everything that you want so like I would get pissed I would throw a tantrum tantrum like a little kid you know because I expected to be my way or no way and that's how I was and I was very controlled of I, I was just I was a bitch you know and I feel bad now looking back at it because I did too much sometimes you know some sometimes it was called for you know what I mean but most of the time no I was just seeking attention to be honest you know I was just like hey you know because I didn't it didn't like I couldn't never like understand him telling me that He's not romantic. That's just how he is. And then basically I have to deal with it, guys. That mean, that romantic part, I mean, not just flowers. Like, everything, guys. Like, Christmas presents. Like, birthday presents. Like, I, lo like, I love you. Or saying, oh, you're beautiful out of nowhere. Like, things like that. You know what I mean? And I would watch YouTube. I'm like, dang, I wish I had that kind of relationship. 
I wish I had a man that would treat me that way, you know what I mean? And, and then it started making me look at him differently. You know, I started looking at him like really, like everything I do, you know, like, and I, and I try to like overdo it to where I may want to make him feel so loved that maybe I'm not doing enough. So that's why he doesn't want to express it to me because I'm not doing it for him. So I try overdoing it. Like, I love you, babe. Like text messages throughout the day, you know, things like that. Like everything I wanted, I would do for him. And I was just like getting me more mad because it wasn't working. Like I wouldn't get nothing from him. But when I would bring it up, it was like, what do you mean? I do love you. You know, I wouldn't be here if I didn't. That stupid line that every guy says, if it wasn't for, you know, if I didn't love you, I wouldn't be here. I'm like, oh, I hate that when they say that, guys. So that, that was pretty much like the beginning of the relationship. You know what I mean? And I basically just had to tell him, you know, let's sit down. Let's have a conversation without arguing. Because it's like either he's gonna say something that's gonna set me off, and then if I get if he gets, it's just gonna go. And it's just crazy because we can we can do that to each other quickly, and we knew this. So like when I felt like the conversation wasn't going my way, I would spark up an argument, and then there it goes. Fuck, the argument wasn't worth it. it was not worth the conversation because now we're fighting and now we're not speaking for a couple of days. You know, and I hate that. So I finally just told him like we need to sit down and co communicate because we do not we don't communicate. We have poor communication. We really do. Um, so like I told him like let's sit down like this is what I want from you like you know I can't expect him to know what I want because he doesn't know unless I don't tell him you know what I mean and he thinks he's doing everything the right way and doing enough and he wasn't so I finally just told him like you know what babe like I want to feel loved I want to feel like I can trust you like I want to feel secure with you to where I have no issues or have to doubt you being anywhere I don't have to be jealous I don't have to be thinking like you know I'm not what you want and this is not what you you want and you're not attracted by me so you're out there looking and you know what I mean you're getting you're trying to seek another attention and he's like no what are you talking about I'm like well babe that's how I feel like that the anger that if arguing instead of me talking to you like this and letting you know what it is and why I'm angry I don't and I choose just to yell at you and be pissed and now it's my fault I can admit to that and you know we sat down and we talked and I told him you know what like I want to feel secure like I don't feel secure and I think that lands into like insecurity of your own self. Like that makes you feel like, what, am I not enough for him? Like, am I not worthy enough? You know, like you start thinking crazy shit. Like, I, and I did. And I was just like, you know what? We need to communicate better. You know, like if you're feeling some type of way, you need to let me know and let's fix it there. And then let, don't let it ride out. And then when we were pissed, you told me three months of crap that you're pissed about when we're arguing about something else. You know what I mean? That's how it was. And I'm just like, oh, and we argue about the same crap over and over again because I told him arguments are just for fire. You know what I mean? To throw fire on it. So I tell him all the time, I said, babe, if we would just talk about our situations and just talk until we resolve the issue, then we can exit out and be like, hey, issue resolved. Instead of arguing and then not getting nowhere and then these issues just linger there, unfinished business. And it's just like next time we argue, there's going to be something else under the rug. So I told him, that, that, and that's what I tell him, like, babe, we need to resolve our issues. Like, we need to just talk. Because he'll be like, I'm done talking. I'm done talking. Because at that point, he's pissed. You know, and I'm just like, I, shit. Like, I want to just talk about it, get it over with. Let's squash the issue. Let's figure it out and then move on. You know, I hate, you know, the, I'm not, I'm done talking. And then we stop talking about it. And then it's sitting there for the next time. So the next time we argue, we can bring up all that bullshit that we were arguing about before because it never gets resolved. So I used to tell him that. I'm like, we need to resolve our issues when it happens, you know, and figure out what's going to happen at that moment, not wait. And he was like, okay. You know, and, and we've been trying our hardest now. Um, it has been five years that we've been together, and that's like the longest I've ever been with someone. So we, we have, we owe it to ourselves to try to make this work because if anything, the, we can't make us be together. We, I cannot make him be here and he can't make me be here. So we do have to be willing to work with each other and want the same thing on this sense. Like, you know, and we do, we talk about a lot of stuff. Like we, he has a lot of goals. I have a lot of goals, you know, and it's just like every relationship has issues, guys. Mine just happens to have every single issue in the book. <laughs> but sometimes I feel like I leave it in too much and I don't speak to no one because the only people I really do is have like family and a couple of friends and my thing is like I don't want to tell my family because then it puts them in the middle of it and then you know your family doesn't want to hear that stuff like I don't want my dad to be stressing and my mom 
to be stressing that we're not good, you know, and worry about it. Because they do worry about it, even though they don't tell you guys. But the par your parents always worry about you guys, you know. And so I wanted to put less on their plate because they were going through it, you know, with my brother and stuff being in prison. So sometimes I would just keep it to myself. And then who else would I be able to yell at and argue was Ryan. He was my punching bag. And I feel so bad now because I think about it, I'm like, he was my punching bag and he did take it. Because he could have left me, guys. He could have left. He could have been like, forget this. I'm not going to be her punching bag. I'm not going to let her treat me like this and like that. And then, you know, and then still be here. You know, he could have left a long time ago. He could have left any time he wanted. And he didn't. So I have to give him that, you know. He chose to stick around, you know, and still work on it. And he, really, he does love us. So I can't say he doesn't. So, yeah, there's a lot of issues. It's just, I think it's just normal relationship stuff. But my thing is, like, YouTube, I want to just... It's not more for anybody, you know, but it's for myself. Like, you guys are my therapist, my counselor, whatever you guys want to call it. You know, I'm not a counselor. I'm not a... I didn't go to school for that, but I do want to express, like, how I feel. Because it, it's going to help me, like, take it off my chest, let it out. You know what I mean? Talk to someone, basically. And it's not someone that's going to be in the middle, someone that's mutual. You know what I mean? Just be able to speak and just be like, okay, it's done with. What are you doing, dude? You could just cross the street like that. Anyways, so I just want to do that. I just want to talk about certain things. You know, I have a lot, like a lot of things. And I just broke them into like subjects because I just want to talk about it because I feel like my experience maybe can help somebody else. Maybe you're going through it right now. You know what I mean? And everybody has, every relationship has their issues. Like if they say they don't, that's a lie. Like everyone has issues, little or big or not even an issue, but it's an issue. So that's just you know that's just how it is and i think the issues are good because it's, it makes you guys stronger and tighter and it gives you a foundation to like build on you know you can't just imagine if you got into a relationship and it was like already built for you there's already there's no issues and it was like you guys were both perfect like imagine like it would be weird i'm not used to that i think i like the expense you know to be like talk to someone and like get to know them and grow like because that's what we did we grew like we're still growing you know we still want things we want to do things and we haven't fully got there yet you know it takes time so yeah baggage and insecurity do go hand in hand i believe um and the baggage like now i can truly say like some of my baggage is gone i emptied my suitcase and it's empty so like we talked about it like i told him like the jealousy part I asked God, I said, you know what, God, can you please take this in jealousy away from me? It's not helping me. And it's like, sometimes I can't even control, like, I can't even stop it from happening. Like, I'm, I can be normal, just chilling, and then I'm like, it just sparks out of nowhere. And I was like, I'm going nuts, I'm going crazy. So I asked God, I'm like, God, please help me with this, you know, take it from me. Take the jealousy from me, take it away, take it away. And he did, guys, like, I felt very calm and relaxed, and I was like, I felt like he did like it's not really crazy like it was before now it's just like I have to wait to let him give me reason let me see something let me flip out when I'm supposed to flip out stop accusing because what is it gonna do to start an argument or you know what's gonna happen I'm just tired of arguing guys I'm tired of I'm tired of fighting I never liked to fight in the beginning in any ways but it's what happens when you love someone you know what I mean it's just like that's the person that will irk you the fastest the quickest get you to 100 real quick is the your other half like it, it just happens so yeah you know and also like talking on youtube like i can look back at these videos and like just go back and like dang you know like i did grow from here to here like i i realized my my confession guys this is my confession and i can go back and, and listen to this and be like and maybe grab some of my own advice Cause that's my thing i can give it but i can't i don't take it you know what i mean i'm a good person to talk to you about stuff i can give good advice i can give you pointers i can do all that but to take it myself i don't because i think i i got it under control girl i don't you know what you it's just it sucks it's like an illness to be a control of person a control person is like another job like you, you're just constantly constantly and i'm just like oh no i'm tired of it I'm, i don't want it to be like that so, you know, and I thought that a lot. I was like, I need to go through, I need to get, we need to resolve all these issues because we're trying to get married. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, I don't want to go into it like that, guys. Like, I don't want to be stuck even more than I felt. 
So I told him, like, I do feel stuck. I feel like I'm here for the kids or I'm here because of my parents. I'm here. I'm not here for me because I'm not happy because I'm not getting what I want from him or what I, what I need from him. And I finally told him, like, you know, babe, like, once in a while I'll say I love, you know, out of nowhere where it's not like when I'm leaving in the morning or when I, after you hang up, like, you know, out of nowhere. Like, say I love you, a text here and there so I can know you're thinking about me. Like, I'm important to you. You know, stuff like that, because women need that, guys. Like, we need that. Just like men need it from us, like a mother figure type of thing, like to take care of them, like we need it too. You know, and, I, and but they're not going to know unless you tell them, guys. And I learned that the hard way because a long time, for a long time, I didn't say nothing. I just took it, took it, took it, got pissed, got pissed. And at a point, at one point, he was just like, what's wrong with you? You're fucking nuts. And I'm like, no, I'm not. You know, and it just caused issues. And I could just communicated with him and told him like look this is what I need from you and you're not giving it to me and this is what's causing all of this to happen you know reaction and now that we're all of that has happened and we've gone through that little patch in our relationship you know now it's like if I don't if I don't expect it from him he does it on his own you know if I'm not like constantly on his ass and be like babe babe how can we don't do this babe how can we don't do that then he Reacts like a little kid. You know how a little kid, if you yell at them, they're gonna talk back. It's just a, it's just a response. Like they can't even help it half the time. And he's the same way. So I felt like I was like, okay, let me back up. Let me get off of him. Let let him do it on his own because it has to be his own. Because at the, at the end of the day, if you're making him do it, you're basically making this man do these things, and he didn't want to do it himself out of his heart. You know what I mean? And I felt like that for a long time, and I was just like, I'm just going to ease up. I'm just going to get full step back. And once I did that, then a little bit at a time, he started doing, you know. And then he started, you know, and that's when the men start tripping. Like, how come she's not acting like she usually does? What's going on, you know? And we start making them think. And then it becomes a game, and I don't want to be a game. I don't like playing that game. So I told him, like, look, this is what's going on. This is how I feel. And just communicate. Communicate is very important. Communicate trust is the very important thing like I know you hear it from everybody else but it really is those two things you need those two things like those are the foundation of your little house there like it really is so so yeah guys that's my you know that's my little two cents on baggage and insecurity because that's what I went through guys it's my experience so tomorrow I'm gonna do another uh chit chat in the ride to work um and we'll just cover like i just have i just feel like i want to just express a lot of things like i just want to peel my in my onion <laughs> layer by layer and you know i want you guys along with it i want you guys to get real close and personal with me. i want you guys to know me very well and maybe this will help you guys what you guys are going through it right now whoever's going through it out there you know you're not alone everyone has their issues like i i do like i already went through it and me it's like i'm very I'm secure with that where I, I'm not ashamed to let everyone know what I gone through like what I did like what part I had in it like it's, it's, what, it's not perfect but trust me I know for a fact though you go through the bull crap so at the end you're gonna live so happy so happy because you already went through everything in the beginning so now it's just all you can do is be happy at the end so yeah guys so keep in touch with that um, if you like the video please put a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you haven't already and come on, what are you waiting for? You want to be part of the family? You want to hear my mouth every day? I know you do. I know you want to hear the gossip, the drama, the the tea. So like and subscribe. You know, um, hit that bell right there so you guys can be notified every time I upload another video. It's gonna be. A, I'm trying to do it every day, y'all. Like I love recording. I love doing this. Like this is very like therapeutic. You know what I mean? And free. So you can't beat free counseling. So this is what I'm going to do. So tomorrow we'll do another video in the morning. Um, we'll just cover some more things. Whatever like pops in my mind. Like I feel like talking. You know what I mean? What I want to talk about. You know. And that's what we'll do. Like this is how I want to do it. I just want to let. It, it just is like. It's just releasing. This crap that I'm just holding and holding and holding. And I feel like it does help other people. And I love help helping people. Like if it's not off of my experiences. Because that's the only way you can, you can learn. Is off of other people's experiences. And you see that you relate to people more than you would think you know what I mean that's how I felt so yeah guys I'm at work so I'm in the car I need to go to work when the clock in um and I will see you guys tomorrow morning on another chit chat in the ride 
um, and we'll do some more um, drama of my life. How about that? So you guys have a good day, right? Catch you guys later.